Welcome to this week's edition of the Africa Today News New York Weekly News Roundup. And here are the top headlines for the week. Article Obi begin alliance talks to our sustainable in 2027. Dan Gote is set to end fuel importation in Nigeria. Emirates to resume Lagos Dubai flights on 1st October. Pathologist finally releases late Mobad's autopsy report. Burkina Faso, Mali, Najee move to form confederation. Slovakia's prime minister in critical condition after being shot. Trump receives NRA endorsement, vows to protect gun rights. Bayern Leverkusen and historic Bundesliga season unbeaten. Now the news in detail. Mr. Peter Obi, who was the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, during the week held a closed-door meeting with former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and a number of stalwarts of the People's Democratic Party PDP in Abuja. Obi also held a meeting separately with a former governor of Jigawa State, Sule Lamido, and former Senate President Bukola Saraki, a development that sparked speculation about a potential coalition ahead of the 2027 general elections. The chairman of the Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote, during the week, announced that by next month, that is in June, Africa's most populous country, Nigeria, will no longer need to import gasoline due to the operational plants of the Dangote refinery. Speaking as a panelist at the Africa CEO Forum annual summit in Kigali, Dangote highlighted that the refinery, which has already commenced supplying diesel and aviation fuel in Nigeria, has the capacity to fulfill the diesel and petrol needs of West Africa and the aviation fuel requirements for the entire African continent. Emirates Airlines during the week announced that it will resume services to Nigeria from October 1, 2024, operating a daily service between Lagos and Dubai, which has gotten Nigerians in a jubilant mood. Recall that Emirates Airlines had suspended its Dubai-Lagos flights in 2022 over its inability to repatriate trapped funds in Nigeria in the heat of the diplomatic row between the two countries. Eight months after his painful death, the pathologist who conducted an autopsy on the body of the late singer Ilerio Lua Aloba, professionally known as Mobad, during the week revealed that the cause of death couldn't be ascertained. A senior advocate of Nigeria, Wahab Shitu, who spoke to newsmen in Lagos State on behalf of investigators, noted that the pathologist in charge told the coroner that the diseased's body had decomposed by the time the test was conducted. Now let's go for a short break and when we return, the news continues. Now on African news, Junta led Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger during the week concluded plans to form a confederation after aggressively kicking out former colonial ruler France to seek closer ties with Russia. Their foreign ministers had earlier held a meeting in Niger's capital, Niamey, to agree on a text establishing the Confederation of the Alliance of Sahel States, that is AES. Now in world news, the Prime Minister of Slovakia, Robert Fico, was shot multiple times and critically injured in a politically motivated assassination attempt during the week, according to the Interior Minister. The 59-year-old Fico was shot by a gunman five times and underwent several hours of emergency surgery. Still on world news, former President of the United States Donald Trump during the week called on gun owners to vote in the 2024 election as he addressed thousands of members of the National Rifles Association, which officially endorsed during their annual meeting in Texas.
The Biden administration has taken a number of steps to try to combat gun violence, including a new rule that aims to close a loophole but has allowed tens of thousands of guns to be sold every year by unlicensed dealers who do not perform background checks. My name is Favor Ahem. Thank you so much for watching.